I consider Ray to be the actual uh, uh, record holder. Played G6, Bishop G7. Played. Ray memorized two, yeah, but Ray actually, Ray, Ray memorized some, but he didn't memorize to the same degree. Uh, let's just play A5. Probably play like 96, 97. Um, Ninety seven E five makes sense. Guess I'll play E five here. Probably D five ninety seven maybe. Very weird position here. Okay. Um LHS IQ is Nepo, yes, that is Nepomni Jan Nepomniachi. Um that is that is Nepo man. Um let's play ninety seven, maybe ninety five. I could have played ninety five right away maybe as well, but this seems reasonable too. Play ninety five, put pressure on the pawn. Queen's slightly misplaced here on D2, normally it belongs on C2 in this position. Um Someone already won a game, yes. Chains of Fantasia also won a game. Let's play King H8. Just like F5 next move. Maybe even just knight before. Let's play knight before. That's just queen E7. I'm probably gonna play for F5 at some point. Um we can't see the time of the tournament. What do you mean? Uh no, there is no time of the tournament. No, there's no time because this is an Arena Kings. It's uh, this is just ten rounds of blitz. There's no, uh, there's no uh, timer. This isn't, this is, this is not Arena King. This is, this is, uh, this is, this is, this isn't Arena King. In Arena Kings, you're right. It's a, it's a countdown, two hours. But in this, there's no countdown because it's Title Tuesday. It's not Arena King. Take. Um, I can play bishop d7. I can also. Hmm. I don't want to do this. f5 doesn't look right. Um, I'll play knight b8. Maybe rook a6 or knight 7 I'm going to go knight 7 Try to play knight f6. This is not Arena Kings, you guys. Oh, what is he? Okay. <sighs> Maybe just King G8 sidestep it. I actually got a kind of a bad position here. Um, here we're going to play Knight F6. Put pressure on the pawns on G4 and H5. I can play 98 maybe. I think I'm gonna go 98, 96 here. Try to reroute my knight to a much nicer square. Isn't h6 a concern? Not particularly. I can just go bishop h8. Let's okay, just 96 of course. Um, what does this do if I just take? It's a free pawn. Knight of five. I can just. Okay, way too slow this game, so okay, bishop h3. Just trap the rook on g2. Okay, so h6, um, just bishop f6, why not? Takes, takes, e4 coming. Whoa, oh, I was not expecting, oh my gosh. Nice. Not expecting that. Um. This bishop d4. 
Rook A6, Rook B6 looks good. Rook B6, I guess. Um, here's A4. If B4 just take and BB4 looks good. Rook F3, Rook B5. Did Magnus Carlsen win? Yes, Magnus won his game. Let's just take with check. A2 looks good. I've got Queen F6, no mate. Okay, she resigned, so that's one, 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 one up, one down, nine more to go. Was the pawn push the crucial blunder? Um, pawn push in which game? Wh which game are you referring to? Thank you, Speckum93, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. I, when you say pawn push, I don't actually know which game you're referring to. Um, Magnus versus Non? No, but the classical game was drawn. So no, Vichy held the draw in the classical game. So, um, so yeah. Has anybody won TT with 10 out of 10? I think, um, I think what's his, I think Sasha won it with 10 out of 10, unless I'm mistaken, but I could be wrong. So, yeah. Whoa, thank you um, to Mr. Nightmove01 for the eight month resub. Thank you so much. I think I think Sasha went 10 out of 10 one time, uh, but I could be wrong. I have won Title Tuesday before. Oh, oh, Sasha didn't go 10 out of 10? Okay. So, okay, so most games look like they're done. Let's see. Oh no, Jan is still playing actually. Jan is still playing. Jan is, I guess, yeah, Jan is winning. Okay. So, yeah. Actually, I'm going to make some more coffee, you guys. So, I'll be back in one second. All right, what did we miss? Um, that frame on the wall, it's actually quite straight, but it's my, um, it's not, it's not tilted, but the camera, the camera's slightly off, okay? There you go.
Pelt it more. What kind of coffee do I drink? I'm just drinking my, um, I'm just drinking my Juan Valdez instant coffee. Um, all right, so one game up, uh, nine more to go. Uh, thank you to Ryan um, Vagila, 32, for the uh, three-month resub. Thank you so much. Hikaru has a truck driver's taste in Java. I have a truck driver's taste. What is that? That's some kind of insult. That what? Like I'm a, I'm I'm like I'm like the FedEx truck driver who sleeps in my uh, in my in my rig. Thank you, Earl Binky, for the two-month resub. Um, Jawsmoke says, I was a truck driver, then quit because of this terrible lifestyle. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty rough, isn't it? Don't you just drive and, like, sleep at rest areas in your rig and then have to get up and drive all the way across the country again? I mean, um, I've done some brutal cross-country drives, so it's it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. I mean, I can't imagine ever doing it, like, every, doing it, you know, back-to-back -back days, you know, and just having to go across the country. It's pretty rough. Um, uh, Jawsmoke says it. Yeah, but don't you get paid well? Like, I knew someone who was a truck driver, and I think they were making like 100 to 125 grand um, a year being a truck driver. Maybe it was for FedEx or some, it was some company. I forget which one. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it was FedEx. It was definitely FedEx. I, I, I'm sure it was FedEx. Um, but yeah. Jeff K83 says, I don't think it's like that anymore. Okay, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, depends what you're hauling. Um, Chris Obey, no, that's actually not a joke. I thought truck, I thought driving trucks is one of the best paying, paying jobs out there. Um, you know, that doesn't require an advanced education. Um, yeah, Jocelyn says, yes, the pay is there, but no amount of money can keep me away from those I, those I love like that. For some people it works, but for me it was totally depressing. Yeah, I mean, I can imagine. Like, I, I've I've driven, you know, I've driven, I've driven, um, I've driven from New York to Seattle a couple of times, and it's really, really rough. Um, nomadic one says real estate is probably most lucrative without education. No, but I mean, real estate is the most lucrative. But what, that's only if you're a handyman, you mean? Because like, you can't actually sell real estate or be a realtor unless you go to school and work hard. So um, it's not so simple. Knock has some good road trip show. Yeah, I've, I mean, my my all time my all time best performance was when I drove from uh, St. Louis, Missouri to um, Vancouver or yeah to Vancouver, British Columbia in um, in 32 hours, I believe it was. Let me check the map to make sure it was, was it Vancouver or was it Seattle? Um, let's see. Let me just check quickly. Yeah, I drove. Um, I drove from St. St. Louis to uh, Vancouver in thir Did I say 32? It was 34 hours. I drove from St. Louis to Vancouver in 34 hours, and I believe it takes about like 33. Um, I think it takes 33 on Google Maps or something. So like, I literally maybe no, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's changed. Actually, it looks like there's some traffic now, so it changed. But I think at the time, um, I forget if it was Vancouver or Seattle, but it was something like um. It, it was something like uh, Google Maps said something like two hours less. Whether it was Seattle or Vancouver, I can't quite remember. But it was it was basically like um, it was basically like uh, you know Google Maps says 32 hours and I did it in 34. Basically, I slept for um, I slept for I think 30 minutes in Denver and I stopped. I just basically stopped and got gas, got my got my Red Bull and and, and all of that, and um, I just kept driving. Just keep on going. Drive, 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 baby. But yeah, it's pretty rough. It's very, very rough. I mean, my, my my attitude towards driving is you just don't stop. You know, you basically it's it's a pit stop. It's like you know, it's like it's like it's like NASCAR. It's a pit stop. You basically pick up your like five cans of Red Bull, use the restroom, and then drive four hours, put gas, and drive four hours, four hours, four hours, four hours. Like you know, you just got to do that. Just got to go. I will say it was not the smartest thing I've ever done. Um, because by the end, I was actually, I was very lightly hallucinating um, by the end. I I'm not gonna pretend I wasn't. Okay, let's just play Knight F3, B3. 
Um, uh, I was very lightly hallucinating by the end. Play bishop b2. Um, let's just play d4. Uh, let's play e3 and c4. Bishop b2. Castles. Queen c2, I guess, seems fine. Um, knight c3. Thank you, Wild Lawrence, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Let's play a3. Probably just queen c2 next move. Um, do I want to trade? Yeah, let's trade. Play knight c3. Play queen c2 and just trade. <laughs> McKinney access hallucinating he was in Vancouver when he actually ended up in Seattle. <laughs> I actually know people in both places though, so it wouldn't be that insane. Um, I don't actually know which rook to put on D1. I'm going to put this rook. I'm going to assume that if trades... Um, okay, yeah, I assume that here I can always double the rook, so that's why I wasn't concerned. I'm going to play like rook D2 and rook D1. Um, Um, okay, knight d7, so I can obviously trade and play like knight e I guess I'll just trade and play like rook d1. Put pressure on the pawn on d6. Maybe I have b4 and c5. Um, that's interesting. Don't love it, though. Um, I can always check, maybe. Let's, let's throw in a check. Um... Problem is this knight. My knight's not quite where I want it, but I'm gonna go b4, takes, takes, takes. I go c5, uh, discovery on the uh, rook. Okay, so he takes, so I can't play b5. I guess I just take and take on b4. Um, seems pretty decent here. Benjamin Bruce says, does he have a fan blowing on his hair or does it just naturally move like that? It just naturally moves like that, man. All natural, all natural hair, all natural. Don't need to use the soul glow or any of that stuff. It's just all natural, man. All natural, dude. Um, would you say that Hawaiian themed apparel is your favorite? It's become my, it's become my favorite ever since I started living in Florida, for sure. Um, I don't know if I would say soul glow. Wait, can I take takes takes rook b8 and like queen a? Nah, doesn't quite work. Okay, um, don't really want to play g4. Queen b7 looks wrong. Mm, let's just play. Eh, not thrilled with this position. How do I try to win? I'm just going to play h4. <clears throat> Queen c3, put pressure on the knight. Maybe g4, g5 is an idea now as well. Um, okay, so he goes Queen c5, so I do have g4 now. Then what, rook a3 or something? I don't believe him. Rook a3, I'm going to play Queen d4. Um, he plays this. Wow, I was not expecting that. Um, just King g2, why not? Gamark says, I live in Florida. Indeed, indeed. Florida is a fantastic state. Um, now, I do have queen d4 here, maybe. <coughs> Let's just play queen d4. Rook d4. Oh, but he's got rook b2. Oh, that's unfortunate. <coughs> okay. I think I'll just play bishop e2, support the pawn, maybe rook... Nah, uh, he's got... What am I doing? King f1, okay, but g5. <clears throat> oh, he's got rookie two at the end. Oh my gosh. Oh, shoot. 
Okay, it takes. <coughs> Maybe just like six here. Definitely not going to take a draw here. Um, just before I hit the knight. Six. Um, I think I can play like F three, F three, I guess. Maybe seven, maybe throw in a check. I'm gonna try to bring my king in, maybe. Maybe king e four. It'll be very hard to win. I've not played a good game in this one. Play bishop b7, support the pawn, no knight d5 check. <clears throat> um, uh, thank you, James UC, for the three month resub. Thank you. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? Oh, my. Ah. <clears throat> Wow, he does play f5, which fairly bold. I mean, he's giving me king f6 here. I don't really like f5. Thank you, Midnight Fox Dota, for the tier one sub. Thank you so much. Um, this is fairly dangerous now for black, I think. It's still obviously a draw, but it's dangerous. Put king f6. Maybe just king g5 to hit the knight. <clears throat> Got to move the knight somewhere, and then I take the pawn. Still, it's obviously not not really winning, but there are tricks. Wait, this is Daniel Fernandez? What? This guy's got an Australian flag. This can't be Daniel Fernandez. Must be someone else. Wow, okay, um, hmm. Is this really a draw? Hard to believe. <clears throat> Think about how I can re-maneuver. Okay, I'm gonna try to re-maneuver my king around. <clears throat> Okay, that, and I guess. <clears throat> okay, that's so cheesy, but whatever. Anyway, I should have, I should have played rookie a6 and taken on f5. That was really, really poor of me not to do that. But anyway, whatever. Is it gonna be another day? Is it gonna be another day with it with this where some 2400 starts playing really well as usual? It's gonna be one of these days. 2450 fide. It's gonna be one of these days. Okay, it's gonna be one of these days again, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be one of these days again. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely.
Tal Tal Baron and Delugia are my favorite to win the tournament. Good one. Good one. Um <clears throat> uh, it's just gonna be one of those days, evidently. Lovely. Um play the Bond Cloud? Yeah, maybe I maybe I will. Delugi is so strong. Delugi is amazingly strong sometimes. Amazingly strong. Like, out of this world strong at times. Um. <clears throat> Have I ever played World of Warcraft? If yes, coming back to Classic? I don't know what you mean by World of Warcraft. But anyway, um... Uh, have I considered getting mustache and losing the beard and still fear in your opponents? I've gone with the mustache look. I did that look when I was very young and it didn't work well. It didn't work well. It did not go. It didn't work well. I did it, but it didn't didn't work well. It did not work well. I tried it. Um... It didn't work well. I did I did the mustache look. Like, it just didn't work well. When I was 16 or 17, I did the mustache. And it made me look like a Mexican. And I didn't look very good. I didn't look good. It goes without saying, I didn't look good. I tried, I tried the mustache look, and it didn't look good. I looked like Pedro. Pedro from Napoleon Dynamite. For those of you who've seen Napoleon Dynamite, like, I, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't look good. It just didn't look good, you guys. It didn't look good. It didn't look good. It didn't look good. It didn't look good. I looked like Pedro. That's what I looked like. How about a Detroit Tigers cap and a Ferrari? Now we're talking. Now we're talking. That that would that that's kind of look that I wouldn't mind. Then I'd look like Magnum, right? <laughs> Pixar, I don't believe you. Just look at U.S. Championship pictures, you guys, from 2005 or 2006. Look at U.S. Championship pictures, you guys. They're pictures of me with the mustache. I don't look good. I don't look good. I mean, seriously, I don't look good. I don't look good. Trust me. Trust me. Um, what do I want to against play, play against Paul from St. Petersburg? Let's not get it wrong. Um, play Petersburg. Play Eastwick. Play G6, Bishop G7, just castles. Um, Paul from Stalingrad. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Stalingrad's a good one. I didn't think about that. I let him put the stupid pawn on A6, which is fairly careless of me. But actually, I don't know if putting the pawn on A6 was right. Okay. Um, play rook A D8, maybe. I'm going to go knight E4, I assume, at some point. Like, maybe now. I'll try to just build up here in the center. Because, I mean, I'm not really worried about any C5 ideas. Let's just play F5, Knight F6, maybe. If D5, I mean, I just take. No Knight D4, because I can just take back. Um, okay, is D5 a threat? Maybe. So, I think. Play Knight F6. Now, if D5, I just take and go Bishop A8. <clears throat> Paul Tagliaboo. Okay, I guess I have to take with the knight takes d5 could be a problem, so I'll take with the bishop. Um, just because knight takes d5 and then he plays on these light squares with like knight d4, knight b5, or knight c6. And now, hmm. Uh, okay, queen b3. I'm going to play c5 here. 
I don't want him playing c5 to open up the diagonal, so I'm going to shut it down. <clears throat> Maybe knight e4? I want to play g5 here. Try to um, get aggressive here on the king's side if I can. I have to be careful that he doesn't get some d5 locking my bishop in on a8 forever. That's the only thing I have to be careful of. Um, okay, now I'm going to play bishop c6 here to play knight e4, I guess. Because I want to play e5, but on d5 I need to have access so my bishop isn't dead on a8 here. If he gets this locked structure. So I want to play for e5, but I can't really... Um, I can't do it without, without having the bishop here as opposed to a8. So a8, if he gets d5, my bishop just dies forever. Okay, now I will play e5. Because now I have d5, bishop e8, my bishop's still in the game. I'll play f4 as well. Just keep keep uh, being aggressive here. Maybe, maybe knight e4 was better. I don't know, f4 maybe is a bit much. Now he plays d5, which actually makes me quite happy. I guess I'll go e8 or d7 looks right. <clears throat> if e8, I, I kind of want the bishop on this diagonal so he can't ever go like bishop g4. So that's why I put it on d7. Also bishop c8 to hit the pawn. Okay, probably hmm, f3 and g4 is interesting. F3, G3, F3, 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 Queen F3. And whatever, let's just go with it. So Queen F3, I'm gonna play G4, Queen G3, Knight H5, trap the Queen. If he takes and goes back, I win the pawn on H3. If he takes the pawn, he loses the pawn on H3 anyway. <clears throat> so if he takes, I take, and then I, I win the F2 pawn. All kinds of threats. If he plays Queen G3, Knight H5, traps the Queen goes to e2 or d1 i'm just going to take um i'm just going to take uh h3 uh what isn't the queen just trapped or am i blind i cover the square yeah that's just game over maybe i can i mean if i go knight f6 he wants to go bishop f5 and i mean he can't really continue this game but you know, I don't. I don't want to even give him a whiff. Of e4 takes. Yeah, I don't want to give him a whiff of anything. So I'm just gonna play e4 and knight f6. <clears throat> knight f6 was good enough, but I just. I, I don't want to give him anything. He's got one piece here. Um, he's got one piece here. He's got one piece for the queen. It's not enough. He goes knight g5 and just take. For real, dude? Knight e6, queen h4, obviously, or takes and queen h4. Takes queen h4, obviously. Check, check. Check, win the rook. You for real, dude? For real? Okay, I mean, okay. <laughs> okay, I mean, I mean, okay, that was just weird. Okay. That was just weird. Thank you, Stompy J, for the 10 month resub. Thank you. Maybe it's a 14 inch monitor and, and, and the resign button got lost by the low screen. Yeah, it could be. Um, no, I mean, I just, I didn't understand what he was doing in that game because it was just like. 
I just didn't understand. The whole game was just kind of weird. Um, but anyway. Anywho. All right, seven more games to go. Oof, I am pretty beat, you guys. It's been a long day, long stream. I've been up since like 6 a.m., so it's been a long day. In case you're wondering why I'm a little bit low energy at the moment, thank you um, to Adair Julian for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for the uh, subscription. Thanks for joining the sub club. Drink a Red Bull, man. I've had three cups of coffee. I mean, I'm just fading. Um, I need some razor clams. I didn't have a chance to get to the supermarket today um, to buy buy more of the fish um, fish soup. I mean, well, well, let me find the link again. Um, yeah, like this is this is this is this is good stuff, you guys. Like, actually, you know, what? there's another one that I like too. Um, like the other the other one's good too. Like this. Let's see if we can crash the site again. Um, this one's really, really delicious. Also, this is my other, this is my other soup that I really like. Um, really, really good. Um, that's that's the other soup that I really like. I could get some monkfish. I bought some, I bought some wild Alaskan cod the other day. It was like nine ninety nine per pound. Um, so I just, I bought some fish the other day. I mean, I might go buy some uh, almond crusted salmon. Um, that's always possible. Um, but yeah. Did your nuts.com order come in? Yes, my nuts.com order arrived earlier today. Actually, during the stream. Um, so, yeah. Chowder is 60. Oh, oh, whoa. oh, it's a 12 pack. That's why it's a 12 pack. It's a 12 pack. I was like, holy mackerel, 60 bucks. It's a 12 pack, though. It's a 12 pack. It's a 12 pack. It's a 12 pack. But I mean, uh, this is one of my favorite soups, actually. This, this, uh, they, they make good soup. Um, the, 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 the corn chowder is also good. I've had the bulbaes as well. I've also had the crab bisque. I've had all of them. Um, generally pretty happy. Um, where in Florida do I live? I live uh, in Sunrise, Florida, which is basically a suburb of Fort Lauderdale, so Southern Florida. Yeah, it's a 12 pack. <clears throat> uh, Trust Fund Kid says, why aren't you playing tournaments? Uh, I Because I'm here streaming for you guys. That's why I'm not playing tournaments. But no, it was, in, in all seriousness, because I was not invited to um, I was not invited to, uh, I was not invited to, um, huh, not invited to Norway, Chess. That's why I'm not playing. Um, why do I live in Florida? I like warm weather. I've grown accustomed to, uh, warm winters. I do not like cold winters anymore. Um, uh, I don't like cold winters. Um, I, I just, I like warm weather. I like peaceful, calm. Florida generally is very tra tranquil. Um, uh, also, no state income tax as well. That that, that matters too. Um, so it's it's all, all pretty good. Um, stream is lagging. You said what? I don't know. Um, have I heard of Wim Hof? No, I haven't. I've done a couple four tiers. I'm actually going for glory, you guys. So when I go to Colorado, I'm going to be doing a couple of the class threes and class fours. So it's not going to be a joke. I'm actually going to all make sure to. Uh, Record with my GoPro and you guys will get to actually see video footage up on YouTube. I'll put it footage on YouTube of my climbs. Thank you McBain for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Um, my plan is to do four peaks when I go to Colorado. I'm probably gonna do Long's Peak. I'm gonna do uh, Maroon Bells. Um, I'm gonna do uh, Pyramid Peak and I'm probably gonna do, what's the other one? I'm also gonna do one other one. Um, I'm intending to do Long's as well. Long's, did I say Long's? I don't know if I said Long's. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna do Longs, Maroon Bells, Pyramid, um, those three for sure. Um, Gray's Peak, I think, is Gray's a class two? I forget what Gray's Peak is. Um, someone says, is, uh, is Jimmy a short? I mean, I'm long the market at the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm actually long China. I've, I got long China about a week ago. So it's, it's kind of, I mean, nothing much has happened in the past week, but I'm, I'm long China. I am long the market. I think people, are overreacting. I do not think bad things are going to happen. Um, and if they do, then uh, then definitely make sure you have some uh, some powder available to, to buy. Um, um, anyway, uh, um, let, me, let me pull up the website just to see. Grace, I was planning on doing, I, I was definitely going to do one of the loops maybe as well. Um, um, I might, 
yeah, so like my plan was to do, um, yeah, I'm gonna do maroon, um, pyramid, maroon, pyramid, longs, and, um, and then maybe like, maybe try to knock off all the mosquito range, uh, 14ers. I know there's a, there's a Cameron Bross Democrat Sherman loop and Lincoln as part of that as well. So I might try to, um, knock, knock off all of those as well. So that's my plan. There's, yeah, you can hit all the peaks on the loop. Um, I think it's a four, four peaks on the loop. Um, so that, that's my plan in August, though. So if anybody's out in Colorado and they're out hiking the 14ers and they see some Asian-looking dude um, out there and they're like, oh, my, wait, is that, oh, wait, oh, oh. Um, yes, it probably will be me. Um, but yeah, that's my plan in, in August. Um, but, uh, but yeah, definitely I will be doing some of the 14ers um, in August. Gray's, what is, Gray's, Grays is just super long, right? What is Grays? A class two or a class one? Um, Grays is a class one. North Slope's class one. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not doing Grays. I'll be doing Longs, which is, is a class three. I'll be doing uh, Maroon Bells, which is a class four, I believe. Um, uh, I think I think Pyramid is also a class four, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Let me let me double check that. But I think Pyramid is a class four. Yeah, Pyramid is a class four as well. Pyramid and Maroons are both class fours. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing doing a couple class fours and class threes. Um, G Dave says, "Got to give Hikaru props for his hiking, considering his teeny tiny legs." I've done a lot of hiking actually. Um, I was I was fortunate enough that I didn't become that I didn't get invited to every tournament when I was like seventeen or eighteen. So I actually. Uh, did quite a bit of hiking out in the northwest and um, i did a couple 14ers last year in colorado so um i uh i do i do hike quite a bit i love hiking i love being out in nature one of my favorite things out there um uh one of my favorite things is hiking i love just being out there the peacefulness no 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 annoying humans to bother me so tranquil you can you can just hear the wind you see the sun you can see for miles on end Really, there's almost nothing better in the uh, in the world. Um, have I been to Olympic? No, I have not. I mean, I most of my hiking that I did in the Northwest was in in uh, British Columbia. It was not in um, it was not in Washington. Um, but yeah, the Northwest is amazing. Um, uh, annoying humans, relatable. Um, no subs or viewers to bother you. And that's not really what I mean. I just mean I feel like it's nice to get away from technology from time to time. Um, am I hiking solo? Uh, I will never climb K2. Even, even if I even if I felt got up the courage and the experience, I would never try to hike something where there is uh, anything where I can sit. My, my general risk, my, my threshold for risk, oh, let's play Night of Three. My general threshold for risk is, um, is anything... I would say my margin of error is such that I'm willing to do something where it takes two to three steps, where if I make a mistake, I die. Anything where it's one misstep and I die, I'm unwilling to do. Anything where it's one misstep or there are, you know, there, there are threats of avalanches or anything of that sort, I'm unwilling. I'm just completely unwilling to do. So it's like, you know, if I'm clumsy and I make, you know, one misstep or something, I'm okay with that. Uh, two to three steps, like that requires me being a moron. Uh, if I'm gonna be a moron and do that, then so be it. But uh, but in but in general, like I'm I'm not okay with that's my risk threshold. So um, I should try try climbing El Capitan. Um, but yeah, basically my my threshold is two to three to four steps missteps, and um, and I'm not and I'm fine with that kind of risk threshold. I'm not okay with it where it's like literally you make one misstep and you die. That's my that's my general threshold. So um plays E6, I can play ninety two maybe. Play ninety two, he's gotta go like ninety six and then I can trade. Or play E4. Let's just um if I play E4 he's gonna go C5. Okay, let's just take. I, I don't believe him. Let's just take and castle. Um One misstep while driving and you could die. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Okay, let's just um play E4. I really like d5. I think I'm gonna play e3 and knight c3 and rook d1 maybe. This seems reasonable. Um, okay, he plays c6, so he really wants to play d5. I don't have e4. d5 doesn't look right. Let's just play rook d1. Let's keep it simple. Gonna... Really? Wow. Okay, let's play knight f3. If d5, I'm gonna go e4. Play king g2. The hair reminds me of Johnny Bravo hairstyle. Let's play e4. Um, 
<laughs> um, yeah, probably I'll try to double. I've got a great position here. I don't know if E5, E5 and Knight E4 seems interesting. Let's play Rookie 1 to prepare uh, E5 here. The E5, D5, oh, whatever. Let's just play E5. Let's, let's see if he wants. Okay, now I'm going to go H4, idea H5 maybe. He doesn't have C5 because I can just take. My Rooks are ideal here um, to open up. Play... I'm gonna go bishop c1, maybe bishop g5. As long as he doesn't have a c5 ID, c5 break here, which I don't think he has, then I should be doing really, really well. Um, I'm gonna play like maybe just bishop g5 and queen e2, or queen, maybe queen d2 makes sense actually, because takes I just take. If c5, I can just open this up. Um, if knight h7, just bishop h6 looks good. So I don't know. Is he really gonna take? Um, is he really gonna take? I don't care. Take your pawn. I'll go b4, knight e4, knight f6, and just mate you. <clears throat> I've hiked Fuji Stairway to Heaven in Hawaii and Half Dome. I would love to do the Stairway in Heaven, but I think they've closed it down now because some of the some of the route is on private land. So I don't think you can do the Stairway to Heaven anymore in Hawaii. I totally would love to do that sometime though. Um, you know what? Let's just play c5. You want to take okay I take and i mean i've got b4 coming to hit the knight he doesn't have an f6 break i've also got knight e4 but um, do i want to go knight e4 or not yeah i think i do because when he moves the queen i go knight d6 or knight f6 he can't take because he hangs the queen obviously stairway the stairway to heaven is it am i wrong i i thought the stairway to heaven some of the Stairway to Heaven in Hawaii was on like private land. Or, I mean, that's what I—that's what I was told. I thought like you—you you couldn't do it anymore because it's on like some of it's on private land. So I'm gonna go Knight F6 takes Queen H6, which should be winning. Um, this is just completely winning. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's throw on a check. I mean, knight d6 he takes. I want to do it this way. Just b4. This knight is dead. It's fighting on a wall of pawns. Um, knight d4 looks incredible. Knight e6, g4, rook h1, rook h7. I mean, black should not be able to survive this under any circumstance. So let's just play rook d3. Maybe rook f3 here. Put pressure on the pawn. Um, a3, of course. <clears throat> Now I'm threatening to take, queen f7. Knight h7 should be good enough to win. He can't move the rooks and he hangs f7. Um, so this should just be winning. Okay, knight d8, so he's, what? No, queen f6 is too much. Um, I don't wanna win this. Let's just play, well, I should just take, of course. Um, maybe just like, eh. Not so simple. Okay, let's just go g4 takes, queen g4. Um, he can't take, so then I go knight e6. Do a pin. King e7 back. Um, let's go queen f4. Queen f4. <clears throat> I don't know if queen f4 is best, but it seems good enough. Okay, 4. I guess just rook b3. Again, he's got a passive knight. This can't really be anything dangerous maybe just rook e3 rook f3 put pressure on f7 this way uh, i'll just go b5 here five looks good rook f3 is coming knight d6 is coming as long as i don't allow some stupid queen d1 trick um which i don't see right off let's rook f3 no queen b1 because i can take got rook b7 can't really hold the glue together here Did I have queen f7 followed by knight e6? Most likely I had something. Not rook b6 with queen f1. Um, this is obviously just completely winning. Maybe just c6. He can't take. Then I take. Threatening c7 to undermine the knight. Um, whoa, whoa. for those who pray. C7, hit the knight. I mean, 
Okay, so he's trying to get queen f1. Man. Okay, let's be very precise here and let's just... Um... Okay, let's be very, very precise. Just take and make another queen. Um, thank you, Laws Buddy, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. He just resigns. Okay, that's um, another win in the book. Um, three and a half out of four. Decent so far. Oh, is Jan? Jan still playing. Okay. Um, I can't believe how easy this looks. It's not easy. Chess is very easy if you if you waste your life on it. But otherwise, it's a very tough game. Um, 3,200. I was over 3,200 earlier. I was way over 3,200 last night. I was even more over 3,200 a few days ago. So, um, what to do? That's just how it goes. Anyway, um, yeah. So, that wasn't an easy game. Eh, it's still a win. A win is a win, no matter what you say. If you wasted your life, yes. Hikari says that so matter-of-factly. Um, Japan or America for traveling? Um, I love I love going to Japan. Japan is probably one of the greatest places in the world to visit, um, without a doubt. Um, uh, I do I do love Japan though. Japan I mean I do love pretty much everything about Japan um, is is amazing. Um, when is the rabbit coming back? Road to three thousand probably after Norway ends. One of the last couple of days uh, before I head off to Europe again. I will. Um, uh, but Japan, I mean, when you get get outside of Tokyo, when you get into the rural areas, and you just see how normal people live in Japan, it's just, it's it's just, it's incredible. It's uh, really, really incredible. Um, I mean, Japan is just an amazing place to be. So definitely can't can't complain. Um, great, great, great place to be. Have I been to any Nordic countries? This is an upsetting song. The song is upsetting. Okay, fine. There, there we go. There we go. Here's a happy song. Here's a happy song, you guys. I've never been to um, uh, Mount Fuji. Uh, maybe someday I'll get there. My brother does not live in Japan. My brother lives in New York City. Um, are you ready to dance, Snake Mayor? Are you ready to dance? Um, Simon and Miss Robinson was so mean to me. Oh, okay, Snake Mayor. Are you Dustin Hoffman now? Um, thank you, Quan319, for the two-month resub. I tried to resub, but Twitch kept saying error. Um, Maximilian says, you really switched SNG to this? It's random, Maximilian. It's completely random. My brother is not a GM. My brother is, uh, he was about 2200-ish when he quit playing chess. Um, so, yeah, he was about 20, 2200 when he stopped playing. Um, uh... Yeah, it's about 2200. So, which color would I prefer in an Armageddon game? I would prefer black. I almost always take black in an Armageddon game if I have the chance. Uh, what do I play after King D7? I mean, anything wins, but probably just takes, 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 and make uh, take on G7. And I'm just up two rooks and a knight for a rook. How many siblings do I have? I have three siblings. I have one uh one brother i have um i have a half i also have a half brother and a half sister as well in japan um thank you sim tw for uh for a four month resub does my brother have a title i believe my brother is not he made national master uh maybe i think he made national master i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure he made national master um uh but yeah last time i played my brother was in the u.s junior championship in Maybe 2002, I think it was. And um, I played. I played my brother in an actual in the United States Junior Chess Championship. Um, I think in 2002. I think it was 2002. I could be wrong. <clears throat> Snake Myer says uh, she's in her late 60s when I was 12, so I certainly hope not. Um, and Bancroft was an amazing actress. Amazing actress. Um, uh, she was in some great stuff. Um, uh, Haddle 320 says, isn't it just more lucrative to become a pro poker player than a chess player, I assume? Um, it depends what level you are at chess, but I would argue that it, in poker, there's a there's a lot of variance all the time. Like, it's never guaranteed. Like, you know, I can't, you know, if I go to play a top level chess tournament, I'm going to make some money regardless. Like, if I go to play a poker tournament, you know, I could be Phil Ivey, but... You know there is a ch there is a very good chance that I'm just not going to cash the event, and that variance and, and uncertainty I think makes uh, poker a lot less attractive to me when you're um, 
when you when you're near the top when you're near the upper echelons and chess especially thank you misfit 1599 for the uh, tier one sub thank you so much test base says you could be lex yes i could be lex but I live in the United States. Uh, I live in the United States of Trump right now, and uh, poker is kind of not legal online. So, um, you know what to do. What to do? Uh, who's Phil Ivy? Thank you. Phil, Phil Ivy knows that there's no luck. Uh, no luck in Baccarat, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, but then you go around to the casinos after turning one a couple hundred thousand, Hikaru. Yeah, or you go around and you drop 500 grand playing blackjack like a good friend of mine did one time. You know, like it cuts both ways. Like it's not. It's not, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not all, you know, it's not all, you know, you know, chill, relax, eat a sandwich, lucky, you know, ha ha happy go lucky, lucky goosey, you know, chill. That's not how it works, you guys. You can't be eating sandwiches and chilling. Um, yeah. Uh, in case you guys don't get the reference, that's an obvious reference to Daniel Negreanu, uh, the ad for his um, for his masterclass on um, you know his masterclass. He does he, it, there's in the promo there's something like you can't be all like playing with your phone, eating a sandwich, mm, I'm loving it or something like that. So that's a takeoff that I just did there, you guys. In case you're wondering. Um, Naka fan says, how many times did I beat Elon? Elon Schwartz in the New York Masters. Oof, I don't know. I probably beat Elon like two or three times. I'm not... Elon and I did not play that many games when we were when, when I was younger. Um, who's Masterclass? Daniel Negreanu. Daniel Negreanu. Never seen that commercial? Okay, you guys. Fine. Then, um... Okay, you've never seen that commercial? Fine. Then I'm going to do, um... Um, let me, uh, make a new window. Okay, we're gonna do, um, okay, we're gonna do, let's see how we're gonna do this. Okay. Um, we're gonna do a new, um, um, there we go. There we go, we're gonna do one more. Um, here we go. There we go, okay. Um, we're gonna watch an ad for a minute and a half before the next game starts. Um, um, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to pause this. Oh wow, we're gonna have to pause this one second, guys. Um, we're gonna have to pause this one second. Okay, I'm playing uh, Chambico. Let's, let's, let's play this game and then we'll watch the ad. Let's switch to 67. Um, <laughs> Play E5. Play ninety seven. Uh, thank you, Jukov, for the seven month resub. Let's just take it tonight. Uh, I don't know what Rook B1 is. Maybe he wants B4. Thank you, MF, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Wait, there's a twenty two thirteen on four and zero. Oh. There's a twenty two thirteen on four and zero. Oh. Okay. Rook E8. Six. So this should be six, I guess. No knight should five. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna move really fast, you guys. I'm gonna start moving really, really fast. Um, maybe just be four. Start moving fast. Ninety four B six, I guess. New knight's five, a five next move. Uh, Naka fan says, uh oh, I smell Viagra, as Esserman would say. Did Mark really say that? Did Mark really say that? Is that Mark's uh, catchphrase? Okay, um, play G5. Maybe G4, F5, go take. Five at the night. I'm gonna start moving really, really fast in this game. Um, probably B5, 97. 
Yeah, this time usage is really weird too. Um, seven. Um, they can play G4, I guess. Take the knight. Third the eight. Maybe just F4 next one, maybe H5, Bishop H6. And F3, let's just go H5, maybe F4 at some point. D4. I guess I'll take F4, D5, Bishop F. Oh no, is there Bishop C6? No, I take and go Queen F7, okay. Um. Bishop F5, try to trade. Maybe Knight F5 was playable too. I'm trying to really move quickly here, just to force on, um, just just to force quick move. Um, takes, just take. It's gone quiet, too quiet. Well, I mean, I, I didn't play the music because after the game we're going to watch the ad, so that's why I'm not playing the music on this game. Next game I will, but I, I just didn't bother starting up the music because as soon as I win this game or, you know, lose the game, we'll, um, we'll, we'll watch the, the ad that I was referring to. Okay, C5 does not look like a good move. I think I take, probably takes knight d5. On knight f5. Threaten the pawn. Queen's under attack. Rookie 3, rookie 2 is coming. H4 maybe is a threat too. Queen C6 doesn't really bother me. Queen F7 takes. I just take back. Take maybe Knight G3 is a threat. <coughs> Rookie one probably is good. Knight G3 definitely is good. Uh, I've got Knight F4. Knight G2. Let's just throw in a Knight F4. Maybe why not? Threatening Knight H3. Got 94 coming. 94 hit the rook. G3 is a huge threat. Play G3. King G1. I've got Knight of 2 maybe or H just H4. Knight of 2 looks good. Okay. The rook 2. Knight H3. Rook H2 looks good. Um, winning. Oh, there's got to be a mate here. No knight H3, king G2. How is there no chuck man? Okay, whatever, just rook E8. Hit the knight on a E1 as well. Queen F3? Okay, I've got... No, I don't want to... I really don't want to take the knight. I want to go for checkmate, so I'm going to play H4 here. Chuck and Nate. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay.